Poll question, McLovin, what do you have for me today? Okay, let's start with Kawhi. If I give you 10 to 1 odds, uh, and assuming he plays there this year, would you bet a week's salary at 10 to 1 odds that Kawhi leaves Toronto after next year or stays? So I'm giving you, you put down 100, and I'll give you 1,000 if he stays. Is that is that appropriate bet, or is that not even big enough odds? I don't think it's big enough odds. I, I don't think he's making any secret of this, has made no secret of the fact. Uh, and it feels like the Lakers are just going to let this play out and and not give up. You know, that was always the temptation. Could the Lakers and LeBron go, we can go get him now? Or do we wait? And then we don't, I just don't want to give up these younger players. And I know I had some people yesterday say, man, it's fool's gold. You think these guys are going to be stars? I said, no, they're, they're not. They may not be stars, but they're going to contribute. And that's what I want. I want a balanced lineup there. The problem with Cleveland, Cleveland didn't have a balanced lineup. You had guys that you couldn't count on. I need consistency there. And if I get Kuzma, Ingram, Ball, and they're going to contribute Josh Hart, I need that. I need depth if I'm going to go after Golden State. You know, they're going to have more top-end talent. But if I have depth and a great second unit, now I have a chance against you. But if you're going to give up some of these players to get Kawhi Leonard a year early, now I wouldn't do it. But I would understand if I'm Toronto, I'd be reaching out to Magic Johnson to say, if you want him, you can have him. And, you know, this is who we want. But if the Lakers, I would fight that temptation and not trade for Kawhi Leonard this year because I want to get him next year and I don't want to give up prospects to get him. And I think that would be, that would be the smart move because you're not beating Golden State this year. And if you know Kawhi wants to go to the Lakers, then don't, you know, don't go for him a year early. If you think you're ready to win and, and you can challenge Golden State, that's different. But I think they're a year away from being able to do that if they get Kawhi another year with the younger players and then maybe get somebody else on the tail end of their career who says, just like DeMarcus Cousin, even though he's not at the tail end of his career, who says, I'm going to let me jump on board here for a year or two. Let, let, let's have some fun here. And, you know, you might get Rondo gone, Stevenson gone, and JaVale McGee gone after one year. You can replace them. But I think once players see what you have in Los Angeles and how you can fit in and maybe jump on board, you, you're going to have that. But I would wait a year. I would hold out for Kawhi. I would, you know, I'd roll the dice and say Kawhi is not going to re-sign with Toronto. That would be what I would base this on. And all you have to do is, LeBron, all he has to do is call Kawhi. You know, Magic can't, but all LeBron has to do is say, bro, hey, here's the deal. Write it out, and then, you know what? I'm penciling you in, and we're going to win a championship here. Yeah, McLovin. How about it? maybe a reduced rate at the All-Star break and bring Kawhi and Challenge Warriors this year? You know, uh, like the trade deadline or whatever it is. It's, that, it's who I have to give up. But I don't understand. You really aren't going to give up Lonzo Ball and Josh Hart? Well, I don't know if you... Th- do you think that's what it takes to get Kawhi Leonard? No, the, I think... I think you're talking about Kuzma and you're talking about Ingram, but, you know, ball, they would give away in a second, right? Because he's not going to have yeah, the but, ball in his hand. But head. you have Kawhi, uh, you have uh, Kyle Lowry. Right. No, I know. I don't think anyone wants ball But you got, they have point guards. Yeah, Lowry's got a, a bad deal, too, for Toronto. Even Kuzma. You said Kuzma yesterday. You yes. really wouldn't give up Kuzma for no, Kawhi? No. Well, I don't know if it, I mean, it's part of a package. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I have no idea. I would hold off. I would fight that urge to do it. And do it now. Because, you know, Magic says it's a three-year process here. So make sure you adhere to that. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.